Hello, my beautiful, darling Cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian-only channel. Crosswatchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. The link is below. I also have a Virgo and Leo-only channel. The links to those are in the description box below. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you in your situation. Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I do a monthly uh, giveaway on the channel. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals. Um, they are posted on the first of the month on the community page, okay? So just hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section below, okay? Uh, what else do I want to say? I think that's it. I'm open for personal readings. Um, so I have two different types of emergency readings, five question and three question, or I have a regular three question emergency reading that has a three to five day turnaround. The link to book is below. If you don't find what you're looking for there, you can visit Barbara from Quartz Rose Tarot. So let's go ahead and do our gratitude for today. I am so beyond grateful that I am feeling better. Um, I'm happy that my puppies are safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. I'm grateful for my YouTube family. I'm blessed for each and every one of you so let's get pop and let me know in the comment section what you guys are grateful for spirit tell me about cancer please sun moon rising venus tell me about cancer please sun moon rising venus tell me about my beautiful cancer babies in love so we've got only you and we've got risky Spirit, tell me about cancer in love. Tell me about cancer in love. Oh, we've got divine masculine and karmic. Thirsty causing chaos. We've got drama queen there. Tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer in love. We've got relationship, sex, and affair. Okay. So, Cancer, here's what I'm getting between you and your person. <sighs> Cancer, there is a karmic energy here. And what this person is doing is telling your person, the divine masculine here, whether they're male or female, they're coming up as the divine masculine. This third party is saying that they want your divine masculine and they want only them. This is somebody that is thirsty for attention. This is somebody that's trying to cause chaos, okay? This is a third party that if you're in a relationship right now, your person is having an affair with this person. Person, or if you are separated from your person, this is the person that your uh, ex is currently with, okay? I feel like the karmic here has a sex addiction. And they are telling your person that I am sleeping with you and only you. But I don't feel that that's true. I don't feel that that's true. So this karmic, this karmic is telling your person, yep, no, you're the only person in my life. You know, I want you and only you, but I don't, you know, because I feel like your person is very much on top of this karmic wanting to know if the karmic is loyal to them, but they're not, they're not. Tell me about only you, please. We've got temperance, yeah. So this divine masculine uh, wants some type of security from this karmic and saying, you know, is it, am I the only one in your life? Do you understand what I'm saying? And I feel like the karmic does feel bad with this five of cups energy because the karmic tells your person, yeah, no, you're the only person I want. This karmic knows that they have hidden addictions. This is a karmic that sleeps around a lot, okay? <clears throat> This is a karmic that sleeps around a lot. Tell me about this divine masculine. And we've got the judgment card here. <clears throat> this divine masculine is about to make a decision <clears throat> based on the karmic's lies. 
And it's a decision. That judgment card, Cancer, is not like the Two of Wands or the Two of Swords or the Two of Pentacles. It's a decision that's final, Cancer. It's a decision that's final. This karmic is making a is telling your person, no, you're the only person I want. I'm loyal to you and only you. And this divine masculine, I feel, is about to make a very bad decision in choosing the karmic over the divine feminine. Tell me about karmic here. We've got the four of wands. This could definitely be a uh, twin flame because I'm seeing a, a divine masculine. I'm seeing a karmic. The only one that hasn't shown showed up yet is the divine feminine. And I, I feel like your person is having an affair with a karmic if you guys are currently together or if you're not together, this is an ex that is your divine counterpart that is currently dealing with a karmic right now that is um, this person's thirsty for attention that one person does not satisfy this karmic. Do you see what I'm saying? And your person is expecting loyalty and stability out of a karmic that cheats. Do you see what I'm saying? that cheats look at this we've got the six of cups the knight of swords and the empress cancer this is a divine masculine that's coming running like like a bat out of hell they're running back to the empress because the empress was loyal there, this is an ex that's coming back around, Cancer, because you are loyal to this person. This is a divine masculine that was expecting loyalty out of a karmic that is a hoochie. Yeah, see? The hanged man and tower and the knight of wands and the ten of swords. After a period of time here, your person is going to realize that the karmic is just using your person for sex. It's going to hit this person hard that they got played, that they got played by the karmic. Do you understand what I'm saying? The Ten of Swords. There's a massive betrayal happening here between the Divine Masculine and the karmic. And now this person's running back to the Divine Feminine Cancer. They're running back to the Divine Feminine Tell me about this Empress energy. The Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. So here you are, Cancer. You've got the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. You are mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially independent from everything right now. You're standing on your own two feet. I feel that you're at peace here. I feel that you're happy, you're spoiling yourself, you're doing your own thing, you're single, you're you're minding your business, Cancer. And with the Seven of Wands and the World card, I feel like you're not going to want to hear it. You're not going to want to hear anything this person has to say. According to you, you have learned your lesson about this person and this situation with the Five of Swords and the Justice card. Oh, well, if your life is falling apart right now, that's your karma. I don't want to hear nothing. Do you see what I'm saying? I don't want to hear it. You're, you're not trying to hear this person's problems. You don't want to hear this person's problems. This is someone that's running back to you because they realize that this karmic is in no way, shape, or form loyal to them. And now they want that Empress energy back. And you're like, nah, I'm good on my own. I am good on my own. Tell me about Cancer. There's history here and moving. Yeah, you're moving away from the past, Cancer. You are definitely moving away from the past. You see this person as an empty shell. You see this person as someone that has no, no, the way you're actually looking at this person is that they have no conscience or no soul whatsoever. Like, how can you sit here and cheat on me or choose someone else over me? And then because it doesn't work out, think that I'm just going to sit here with open arms. I feel like it's a repeated pattern. This person may have betrayed you multiple times. They may have betrayed you multiple times or lied to you multiple times, but I feel like you're you're actually, some of you are actually contemplating moving physical location, but we've got obsession and twin flames here. This is definitely a twin flame journey here, Cancer, definitely. I feel like as much as your mind wants to move away from this, okay, um, 
you get drawn to this person as much as they're drawn to you. And even though you're trying to make that head over heart decision to push this person away, you may start seeing them in your dreams. Or it could be that, you know, you're out shopping and songs come on that remind you of this person. You see what I'm saying? Um, it's like, you know, spiritually, you guys are being brought back together. Um, but you don't want it. You don't want to come back together with this person. You know, there, there's, there, there's no want on your part to want to be with this person. But spiritually, it's a different story. You're being drawn to this. We've got unrequited and we've got divorced. Yeah, you don't, you don't want it. You really, when I say like, really, you don't want it. You don't want it. With breakup and lies, you see this person as a liar, as a cheater. You've hit your breaking point with this person. And I feel like with wish come true here, Cancer, um, I, I feel like when this person was removed out of your life and they were busy with the third party, you were actually happier. And now that this person is realizing that they made a mistake, you know what I'm saying? With Paul Cause delay and unrequited you just don't you know the way your person is feeling here is they took too long to come back around because now you don't love them anymore uh, this period of time that they took to see if the grass was greener with the karmic has caused you to fall out of love with them that's the that's what they're 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 feeling right now but honestly cancer i feel like you may have mourned this connection while you were still in it i feel like you started falling out of love with this person when you were still in that relationship because you were just this person would consistently lie to you and hurt you and you've reached your breaking point now on a soul level it's difficult to stay away from this person because of that twin flame connection but you have to keep in mind cancer that not all twin flames come together in that lifetime some twin flames go multiple lifetimes before both of you reach ascension okay Spirit, tell me about deja vu here, please. There's something with seagulls here. I don't know if someone has a tattoo of a seagull, a shirt t-shirt with a seagull on it, or a picture in their house of like the beach with a seagull in it, or if maybe something funny happened with a seagull. I don't know. I'm getting picking up on a seagull. But anyways, six of swords, yeah, and, and deja vu here. You're you're seeing this as toxic with the ten of swords. You're seeing this as absolute toxicity. This person puts you in competition with other people. They leave you feeling you they they leave you in this vibration of constantly feeling like you're not good enough. Like you're not good enough. Tell me about obsession. And the Nine of Cups. Cancer, this person has their eyes on you right now. And you are their wish fulfillment. And with that Four of Pentacles energy, they're not releasing that energy. This person is yearning for you. This person is missing you. But with the Five of Pentacles here, the Seven of Wands and Unrequited, you just don't want it. Like there's an energy of I don't want it. But we've got the Four of Wands again here, Cancer, with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Damn. But it's sitting on top of the Divorce card. It's that is sitting on top of the divorce card. So cancer, I feel like that's what this person is coming in offering you. They're telling you that I know now that you're my divine feminine. I know now that you're the one for me. I know now that you're the person that I want to have a life with that I want to have long term with. Um, I feel like this person was cheating on you with the karmic for quite some time but they didn't really know who the karmic was because they weren't with the karmic 24 7. do you see what i'm saying they would meet up with the karmic once in a while because they were with you right so they would meet up with the karmic once in a while and your person was all about are you loyal to me are you mine do you belong to me and everything and this karmic kept saying yeah no you're the only person i'm sleeping with or whatever this karmic is a hoochie i mean we're talking about raging hoochie okay this person may even have a sex addiction okay and your person felt this need to leave you behind to go see if the grass was greener over there they were in their head over the karmic okay and you're just sitting in an energy here of you know 
what am I supposed to do? Build an entire life around you when, you know, just if you sleep with somebody and you get your head all twisted over a third party, you're just going to walk away from me to see if it's better over there and everything that me and you have built comes crashing down. How am I supposed to build a life with somebody like that? You know, so lot you're thinking from a more logical perspective here, Cancer, where you're sick and tired and fed up. You've been cheated on the entire time that you guys were together just for in the very end you to be discarded and, and this person choose someone over you. Do you see what I'm saying? And it's just like enough is enough now. So you're sitting in your nine of cups, nine of pentacles energy where right now as it stands with you, you don't want anybody. You don't need anybody you're you're making yourself happy you're spoiling yourself you're focusing on work you're focusing on your finances and you just don't you're sitting in an energy of you don't want to be bothered but the problem is it's the spiritual pull that always makes it where you pick up the phone for this person or you always feel like you have to answer them back do you understand what this person is proposing cancer is extremely high levels of commitment with that four of wands and that ten of pentacles energy they're proposing extremely high levels of commitment do you see what i'm saying but i feel like you just don't believe it anymore you've reached your bait breaking point and you just don't believe anything that they say do you understand what i'm saying you just don't believe anything that they say. And now that this person has come to the realization that you are their wish come true, that, you know, there's a saying, I don't know if you've ever heard it before, and you can place gender the way it needs to be placed. But there's an energy, there's a saying that says, you know, every time she forgives you, she loves you a little bit less. And every time she forgives you, you love her a little bit more. So by the time you're completely and utterly in love with her, she has no feelings left for you. Do you understand? And that's what I'm seeing happening here. Now, all of a sudden, you are this person's, you got the nine of cups, wish come true here. You are this, you are everything that this person wants. And now you've got the unrequited card here twice. There's two unrequited cards here, Cancer. You know, you know, one, by the time they finally realize that you're everything that they want, you just don't care anymore. Like you legit do not care anymore, you know? All right, so let's take this into the extended cancer. So let's see what's going to happen here. If you, for those of you where this person can get another chance out of you, what will long term look like with this person? Will you ever trust them again? Will you be happy with them? And will they be loyal? And will it be long term? Uh, for those of you who are done and over it, and you're just like, you know, as much as I, I feel like you're a part of me, I just can't allow myself to be with someone like you, you know, for those of you who are in that energy, what are we looking at for your future and what's next for you? Okay. The link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you guys so very much and I will see you there. Take care, my darlings.